Hello friends and fellow flute players. Uh, today I wanted to share with you flutes in my collection. Uh, not all of the flutes in my collection, we'll get to that in a minute, but I wanted to share with you today flutes that were used on a project called Migration. Uh, this is a new release for me, uh, several years in the making, and I just want to share with you the 15 flutes that you'll hear throughout the uh, throughout the soundscape of Migration, uh, just launched on all digital platforms and on my website as well. So today I want to dig in and show you uh, up close what these flutes look like and sound like um, outside of the recording. So I'm going to start with um, num the track number one, uh, Fly in Beauty, features uh, this beauty. Uh, this is a bass A major diatonic flute made by Brad Young. It's carved out of uh, western red cedar um, and sounds a little something like this. In that particular song, Fly and Beauty, you'll hear a couple of other flutes that um, echo and harmonize uh, with that particular flute. And it's a common theme throughout migration is to hear these different layerings of flutes, these call and responses, much like what birds do. Um, that flute that you'll hear is a uh, mid B minor flute uh, made by the late Randy Stenzel, made out of uh, sycamore. There's also a, a very short piece in this particular song where you'll hear um, you'll hear a very high flute, a uh, little different timber. Uh, that's uh, this transverse flute. It's in the key of D major. Uh, this flute is made by Frank Harder of Raven Wing Flutes. Moving right along to track number two, Hunt of the Nighthawk, uh, features a really unique flute. Uh, this is one of the larger flutes in my collection. It's a double chambered uh, Mayan Harmony drone. Those of you that have seen me on Facebook Live, I like to feature this one quite a bit. Made out of Spanish cedar, one of my favorite woods. I love the way this stuff smells, especially when you're playing it, and it just kind of fills around you uh, the smell scent of Spanish cedar. Uh, this one's made by Brad Young, Four Winds Flutes, and is in the key of A minor is the lower one and D minor is the higher one. Really beautiful tone. I love to play this one for um, yoga, meditations, things like that. Um, and love to bring it to concerts when I can. Of course, it's a big flute to travel with, so it doesn't get a lot of airplane and uh, uh, airplane time. So moving right along, uh, another flute that's fun to bring along to performances. Um, I've used this flute in a number of recordings, including Amazing Grace. Um, this is a flute made by High Spirit Flutes. Uh, it's in the key of A minor. It's a triple flute. So in the middle here, I have my A minor, regular six hole minor pentatonic flute. Uh, on this side here, I have a drone. It plays a mid A and a high A with breath control. You can push it up to the next octave. On uh, the other side here, uh, there's a couple different things you can do with these leather straps uh, covering uh, one or more of these holes to change the harmony or you could play it with your uh, right hand down here and left hand up here like you were to play the harmony drone that I was just playing. For this one, I'm not gonna play these over here. I'm just gonna stick to this one.
flute that requires an immense amount of breath. Uh, but beautiful when you get the phrasing right where you can breathe uh, with the flute. Moving on to the title track of Migration is Migration, track number four, and it features two beautiful flutes. The first flute that you'll hear uh, is this guy. Uh, this is a transverse flute, again, made by Frank Harder, Raven Wing Flutes. It's made out of canary wood, this beautiful yellow uh, wood. Um, and this is in the key of E major. It sounds like this. To complement that further along in the song, you'll hear a uh, native flute, and that is this guy here. Uh, this is made by John Norris. It's in the key of C sharp minor. Uh, it's made from sassafras and has a much lower tone. Moving along to track number five called Mast Ibis. Uh, this is a peppy little song. It's got a really great groove to it. Uh, of course, features a smaller flute, a little bit, uh, a little bit more life and zest uh, to this piece. Um, this is a flute made from, I think it's Alaskan yellow cedar. It could be Port Orford cedar. Uh, my money is on Alaskan yellow cedar. Uh, this flute is made by Garamo Martinez. It's in the key of D minor. Then after a break in the song, hearing a, a marimba play, you'll hear this flute come in. And this is a flute uh, made of bamboo by Craig Noss, Fire Flutes. Um, and this is what he called a Persian tuning. Again, this one is transverse as well. And the key of D minor as well, and sounds like this. So number six on the CD is called At First Light. Uh, and this song features two flutes that I've used in pairings uh, in videos before. Uh, they are an octave apart. Uh, the first one is the large one, the low B flat minor. And the second one is the mid B flat minor. These are both made by uh, the late Randy Stenzel. The low B flat is made from um, Sycamore and the mid B flat is made from maple. Uh, you'll hear these in the songs uh, and videos on YouTube like um, Sound of Silence and Hello by Adele. Sounds like this. Now this maple one used to be a staircase spindle. Uh, I love to tell this story. Uh, was a staircase spindle, a, a square one, and has new life now thanks to Randy making it into a beautiful flute.
Next up, we have uh, two more flutes featured in the next song, Wisdom in the Wing. This is track number seven on Migration. Uh, features this beautiful um, transverse flute. It's a Mojave transverse flute. It has um, four playing holes on the top. They're um, ergonomic, so they're moved around the barrel of the flute. Uh, there's one small thumb hole in the back. This flute sounds like this. In that particular song, you'll hear a, um, this flute come back into play. This is the mid B minor by Randy Stenzel. Now this next piece, this will be track number eight on Migration called Poets Awakening. I've had several people um, email and text me that this is one of their favorite songs on the album uh, and, and is built and inspired completely by this one particular flute. And I'll show you that next, but first I want to introduce this flute. This is the, um, it's an E minor. Uh, flute made by JP Gomez. It's made out of ambrosia maple, another favorite uh, wood of mine. Uh, you'll hear this um, this flute in Poets Awakening kind of being that uh, call and response um, back to the lower flute that I'm about to show you. flute that I was, uh, that this song was inspired by is called a poet's flute. And this is one of the largest, this actually is the largest flute in my collection. It's standing on the ground here. Um, and this bad boy is made from bamboo. Uh, it's played very interestingly because I will actually um, blow into it down here and uh, travels up this smaller piece of bamboo over into the slow air chamber and then it functions largely like a regular Native American flute with um, the air going through the slow air chamber under the block over the flue and at the splitting edge the air gets split. So uh, this one only has four playing holes. Um, I keep my middle finger down here uh, so I don't lose my position on these other two holes. It's a pretty good space between them. Uh, this is a soft flute, very quiet flute, great for use in meditation and yoga. It's made from bamboo and the holes are burned and it's actually um, charred on the outside of the flute as I play it again around me is filled with the aroma of this bamboo which is reminiscent for me of my very first flute uh, Christmas Day 2002 I have a story about it I'll share with you sometime all right we're gonna sum it up here with the longest track on migration uh, the last track uh, is called Peace Within and features another unique flute. This is made by Cousin Bruce um, and is made from Eastern Cedar. It's in the key of G minor, but it has a unique tuning. He called it the Kurdi or Kurdish uh, and it features seven playing holes. These are tuning holes down here, so they don't count in playing, uh, but I play three holes on the bottom and this time I get my pinky in on the action and I'm able to play uh, with it as part of the scale. All holes up, nothing gets, um, nothing gets left down.
So those are the 15 flutes that make up the music uh, in Migration. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I know it's a little bit of a lengthy one, um, but I really wanted to show you uh, what the flutes look like and sound like in a dry environment. Uh, and kind of give you an idea of the sounds and, and things like that. So um, the other thing uh, that I wanted to share with you is I'm starting a new series on my YouTube channel uh, called Flute Reviews, uh, where I'll be featuring a flute from a different maker every single week, uh, hopefully in a different key or different wood, something special about it. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to see more videos and more flutes, of course. As always, take care, much love, happiness, and peace to you until we meet again. Thanks so much.